it is me and my team. And as we can see, spooky season is upon us. It is time for Hocus Pocus t-shirts, spooky books on the shelves, and an upside down, there we go, our September 2021 Haunted Hearts Owl Creek box. I am super excited to get into it. So without further ado, trust your pocket knife. Let's get into it, shall we? I absolutely love the September Owl Crate boxes because they tend to be more spooky and kind of a dark autumn kind of vibes to them and they are just so fun. And if you're unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really fun monthly YA bookish subscription so you'll get a brand new book signed by the author and some other bookish goodies. And speaking about goodies, I am actually having a giveaway this month, so go ahead and check right up there or check down below to grab the link for my giveaway video. So enough about that. First things first, as Riversong would say, spoilers! Here is our spoiler card for this month, and they're almost like little bonus artwork pieces because some of the designs are so cool that you can frame them, and I've actually framed quite a few of these because they're so cool, but you shan't look at those right now because they are spoilers. And first thing I see in the box is, oh my goodness, it is a toy for my kitten. Yes, paper wormies. She goes absolutely nuts over them, so I'm just going to toss them right over there as I get our next box. Will she make a mess? Yes. Will I be the one to clean it up? Yes. But seeing her be so happy and cute, priceless. <laughs> so, first we see this nice bad boy. We have a great big box right here. And here's the back. And so this says, to celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons, we've created a limited edition collection of drinkware. Ooh, so this is the next one in our series. So they've done three so far. So this is must be our fall drinking vessel. They've done tumblers, they've done a mug, <gasps> Ooh. and so this month we have a little travel coffee cup, or since it's me, a travel teacup, or tea. There we go. Oh, look at the beautiful autumnal foliage. That is so cute, and it's nice and ceramic, and we have this gorgeously written quote on the front, and it says, Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. Ooh, I know that. That's, um, Bronte. Emily Bronte. Ooh, I absolutely love it. A gorgeous quote for a gorgeous travel cup. Yay! So far, so good. Alright, up next we have a petite box. Inside... So inside we have this little wooden guy here with lovely little roses on it and it says there is music in your soul. Ooh, so this is a wooden page holder and it says you place your thumb through the ring and it will help keep the pages of your book held open for easy reading. That is really cool and really clever because I hate it when pages flip over. It gets very annoying. Ooh, up next we have, okay, Owl Crate. I love the design on this box. You really need to make like a scarf or a knot wrap because that, or a tapestry, because that is such a pretty design. I love it. So here's the back of our box and it says Haunted Hearts Coaster Set. Ooh, perfect to put your cups of tea. So we have four of them, and they alternate from white and black to black and white. So here is our first coaster, and it says, "Don't underestimate the don't underestimate the allure of darkness. Even the purest hearts are drawn to it." Ooh, spooky. Next one. It has some lovely moth sauna, and it says, "It is a monstrous love, and it makes monsters of us all." Next, oh, the next one has an owl and a book on it, and I love owls and books. And it says, beware how you give your heart. And here is our last coaster, and it says, 
I love you as certain dark things are to be loved in secret between the shadow and the soul. Very spooky. So these are quotes from Vampire Diaries, Crimson Peak. Ooh, yay! North Inger Abbey. I thought that sounded familiar. And Pablo Neruda. I think I said that right. But, oh, North Inger Abbey. There's, I never see stuff themed after North Inger Abbey, and that makes me so happy to have something that is because it's a wonderfully gothic mystery and it's Jane Austen. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a fantastic book. I highly recommend reading it. All right, up next, ooh, I see our pin for this month. Oh, you are beautiful. Look at you. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about gorgeous. We have a lovely candlestick with roses and a little flame. And I wonder, does it glow in the dark? No, sadly, it does not glow in the dark. But, oh, that is so pretty. It's all look great on my pin banner, which is filling up once again. And I think it would look, it looks really good with um, the pin we got for our last spooky book, which was from the book called Horrid. And I think those two go really well together. And also it goes really well next to the typewriter down here at the bottom. So that's going to be super great to put on my banner. Up next we have a couple more items before our box, or our, box, our book. So I see a large envelope and it says Riddle and Ravens. So let's see what we have in here. So, ooh, oh cool. Okay, so these are magnetic photo frames that you put on like the fridge or anything that's you know magnet that can be have a magnet on it and you just put your photo in through here and it has a little quote on the bottom it says it's easy to lose sight of what's real when you're lost in the stars Ooh. and then this one kind of looks like a what goes around a mirror or a cameo that's really cool and so this one says all the time in the world is worth nothing if I don't get to spend it with you. Oh, that's so sweet. I think it's gonna look great with a photo in it. That was really cool. I haven't seen these in a really long time, so I'm excited to have some new ones to put on the fridge or, you know, anywhere that's magnetized. I'm rambling. Anyways, up next we have this lovely, really nice box. It's a bit heavy. And we have some gold writing on the top. It says, hearts were beautifully fierce yet fragile, yet fragile things. It sounds so familiar. I think that's from, um, that quote's from Stalking Jack the Ripper. Ooh, I really love those books. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. We have an absolutely stunning calligraphy set oh it's so beautiful we have our little quill and ink holder here with a rose on it we have a teeny tiny bottle of ink which has pressed well and Wadsworth investigative service so this is forensic ink I love how teeny tiny it is. That is absolutely adorable. And, oh wow. One of the most gorgeous quills, pens, I've, fa fountain pen, whatever, pens, gorgeous. Look at that. We have a beautiful rose on there. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And it's glass. And it is a... Oh, an absolute work of art. And I think this would have worked even great for last month's theme, which was Dark Academia. It doesn't matter. I am so happy. For, oh, I'm at a loss for words. This is so beautiful, and I cannot wait to write with it. And I'll probably use up all my ink, but luckily I actually have a bottle of India ink that I shall refill that 
whenever it gets empty, which will probably be quickly. I do so like to write handwritten sentiments. Alrighty then, it is now time for the bottom of our box, which means this month's book, which is Lake's Edge, and it is a naked book, which doesn't have a dust jacket, so everything is just printed on the book. We have beautiful end papers, and of course, signed by the author, and our letter from the author this month, which doubles as a little piece of artwork. It has this spooky, some very spooky people on it. So what it says about this book is, it is a atmospheric gothic fantasy about a girl forced to live at a haunted estate. She's heard many stories about the monsters who reside there, but once she arrives, she discovers not everything is quite as it seems. Ooh, spooky. Perfect for a cozy fall night. So our last items in our box are our lovely little newsletter with our interview with the author, the Owl Crate Edition um, cover and the original cover. I kind of like how cool and creepy this cover is, but I do like the um, candelabra here. We have this little game that after you're done reading the book, what movie should you watch afterwards? We have more book recommendations, interview with the vendors, Instagram photo challenge, although I'm not sure how good that will work because as I'm filming right now, Instagram is currently down, which is interesting. Um, we have our Spotify playlist, more books, and so cool. Excited. Next month's theme, which is Feel Your Blade, and every item will have a candle from Flick the Wick, which I absolutely love, and spoilers, items that are going to be in next month's box are going to be inspired from Lord of the Rings, yay, Shadow of the Fox, uh, Star Wars, um, what is it, it's Call, Call the Hawk? that book a lot. I haven't yet read it, so I think I should probably read it before I get my next Owl Crate box. And Spin the Dawn, which is one of my favorite Owl Crate books that I have received. And I am super excited for next month's... or this month. Yeah. October's box. Because this was September's. Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my giveaway video, which will be right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and click that subscribe button right there so you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!